what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on these topics and i want to talk about diddy getting sued for copyright infringement i also have some more information in regards to diddy and the td jake situation so you're going to want to stick around for that now i also want to touch base on this alleged rumor that's been circulating for a couple of years now but it just recently resurfaced and it resurfaced based off the fact that the rapper Loose Cannon said that he had been intimate with Shawnee at least two weeks before she got married to Pastor Keon Henderson. Now the alleged speculation is that Pastor Keon Henderson is responsible for a lady by the name of Shauna Mirnu disappearing. Now they're saying that Pastor Henderson was passing her off to other men for a bag and now she's basically nowhere to be found. Now I also want to discuss this thing that's going on with Larry Reed. Y'all I had no idea that Larry Reed was being accused of the same thing that T.D jakes has been accused of doesn't mean that he's guilty not saying that he's guilty but a pastor within the area that i live in you know i'm from north carolina i have some deep connections here but they sent me some information about you know larry reed trying to protect td jakes and things of that nature and listen again guys i had no idea that tasha k had did a whole video about this now we understand that you know there's some credibility issues when it comes to tasha k but at the end of the day she interviewed a young man that was claiming that he was essayed by larry reed so i want to get into the fact that they're saying that larry reed is trying to protect uh td jakes and things of that nature and basically he's helping the victims behind the scenes connect with td jakes and a lot of people believe that he's playing the middleman and he's getting paid off of connecting these alleged victims to td jakes behind the scenes so they can potentially settle out of court or have some type of conversation and do it quietly right instead of the victims actually taking it to court and publicizing this whole thing so what i want to do right here is play you guys some clips now we're going to kick this thing off with diddy being sued for copyright infringement and people giving their two cents in regards to that information and then i'm going to follow up with the keon henderson speculation and then and after that we're going to be talking about this larry reed and td jakes and i'm also going to give you some new information that i got in regards to why diddy hasn't spoken out in support of td jakes so sit tight and i'll be back i'll be back so diddy is back in the headlines he's back in the news he's getting sued again but this time not the sa when i heard he was being sued by a man i was like uh-oh but he's being sued for trademark infringement. An inmate by the name of Charles Kenyatta Jr., which I don't know why he's in jail, but that's what the article said. He's requesting $10 million in damages in a lawsuit accusing Diddy of using Act Bad without his permission. So y'all know Diddy had a song featuring the City Girls and Fabulous called Act Bad. What I didn't know is that he sold merch for the song. So apparently, allegedly, He's being sued over the merchandise that he sold in relation to the song because Mr. Kenyatta says that he has a bad trademark. So in the midst of everything else that's going on, all the other allegations in the 18 companies that just severed ties with Diddy, he's now being sued again. I don't know. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think diddy may just be having his worst year ever like i still feel like there's more that's going to come out and on top of that there will be more people suing him to come you know more people are going to be coming forward so i don't know y'all stay tuned and let's see how this plays out another day another diddy lawsuit diddy is currently being taken to court by his ex business partner charlie c charlie c is accusing diddy of theft and he is also accusing him of contract violation he is trying to get 10 million dollars out of diddy claiming that diddy unlawfully used act bad charlie is claiming he had an agreement with diddy and bad boy which trademarked act bad but he did not approve the term act bad to be capitalized on. So when Diddy released the song with City Girls called Act Bad, he said that this was a direct violation. Charlie realized that the term act bad was being used unlawfully by Diddy and Bad Boy. He said that him and his lawyers did reach out to Diddy's team several times and he was constantly ignored. Charlie is claiming that Diddy, as well as another unnamed John Doe, tried to work together to allegedly force him out of the trademark agreement. He is also alleging that Diddy purposely infringed on the trademark in bad faith. 
while Charlie said he had no problem with the music video, the performances, and the merch being sold, he said he was incarcerated at the time the trademark was supposed to be cleared. Said the paperwork should have went to his power of attorney. He's also alleging that there was another person's name on the paperwork that needed to be removed. The money was not to his liking. He said the percentages were low, there was no advance, and there was no upfront money. He decided to sue Diddy for trademark infringement and breach of contract, and he is seeking $10 million. You guys, this is also crazy. I don't know what kind of roots somebody got on him, but they, they definitely is dragging him by his lace front. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this entire situation. Let me know in the comments. Peace. Not to come down on this person real hard because we know Shawnee O'Neal is not to be trusted and we know how she did OG. But I find it interesting that this man is coming out now after Shawnee O'Neal gets married to say that he had relations with her and he was getting paid. I mean, one has to wonder, did the well run dry? What did you do with the money? Why now? Because surely you got some of that money put up. Why you wait till, like, what? How long has Shawnee been married? A year? Why now? But that ain't even the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the news about Shawnee O'Neal. The first thing that come to my mind is the woman that her husband husband was dealing with allegedly if y'all can remember it was some time before shawnee o'neal tied the knot with her husband right before their show came out i'm hoping that somebody can remember this because the video is still up on tiktok but there was a woman that grabbed her phone and said that her life was in danger and she was scared for her life she didn't know where she was or something to that effect and of course the youtube detectives put together real quick the last known person she was pictured with was shoni o'neill's husband I never forgot about that and i often wondered what happened to that one because there was no follow-up on that story at all what nini say you never win when you plan dirty so i wouldn't be surprised if more information about shoni o'neill or her husband comes out because something's just not right with them too in my opinion hey guys so this is larry reed and he has a youtube channel larry reed live he's very knowledgeable about the td jakes and prophet manasseh situation now while i was watching one of his youtube videos he was saying some things to me that kind of made me feel like you know let me check the comments to make sure i'm not the only one feeling like this so what larry reed was doing is when victims would come to him saying that yes Jakes did this and Jakes did that allegedly, okay? Abby Reed was doing is reaching out to TD Jakes team. I know I, I didn't I wasn't bugging when I heard what I heard. And he's giving the names of those victims to the Jakes team. And my first question is like why would you do why would you do that? And it just sounds like he was like, oh, I'm trying to protect like the church community or the church environment. If you go listen to this and pull the video up, you're gonna, and when you listen to it, you're like, what? Here you can see one person commented, I'm starting to question this man's motives here. Another person commented and said, me too. Why would he give the names of the victims to the Someone else said respectfully, I just don't get why Larry has put himself in the middle of TD Jake's mess by warning Jake's team and providing them with names of purported victims. Evidently, God is doing something. Why not just step aside? You can't derail, curtail, or stop it anyway. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong for feeling like that. Like, what? Like, I'm at loss for words. Guys, please let me know. If you think I'm bugging, like, let me know in the comments, because that was just, that was just super weird. Shakana! But somebody had sent me Larry's video that he did the other day. And y'all already know that Bishop T.D. Jakes is going through scandal right now. His church is going through scandal. We don't know if uh, T.D. Jakes is going to even make it through this we don't have no vitals we don't have anything to see you know if he's all right because manassa jordan aside from this diddy stuff manassa jordan and larry reed is trying to take him down now they did now manassa jordan has showed text messages well larry reed showed text messages and i also showed y'all those text messages and I'm going to kind of be on the bishop side in this drag a little bit because, like I said, we was talking about the Diddy stuff and Manessa and Larry came up here talking about all this other stuff, right? 
But if y'all ain't going to, you know, file no lawsuits, leave this man alone at this point. Because the Diddy stuff, we don't drag them and people still talking about it. But if you ain't got no evidence, leave this man alone. And what Larry is trying to do is he's trying to build a campaign. He's trying to get all of the victims of Jake's paid. Because why would a blogger, a vlogger, or someone that's supposed to be holding the the church accountable and, and let's be honest the church don't look at larry no different than they look at us they look at him the same way he's a messy blogger a messy blogger but he talked about how victims came to him and he was sending the names of the victims to jake's camp for one i think that's dangerous because if somebody is coming to you saying that this mega pastor, as big as Jake's is, right, selling them or molesting them or grooming them or doing whatever they came and told you that Jake's was allegedly doing, why would you send Jake's camp their information? Why would you give him their name when this man can put a PI on this person and find out where this person live and do something to this person. Like, why would you put the victim? How you didn't know that the victim wanted to file as a Jane Doe or a John Doe? He talked about Creflo Dollar, another victim. He said that a victim of Creflo Dollar came forward and that victim, he tried to connect them with Creflo. Why is a man who's been accused of molesting a 15 year old boy in his ministry trying to help other people who are accused of predatory behavior resolve the issue why won't you let these people tell their story and let them get justice why are you trying to get jakes and creflo dollar to talk to these people to work it out anybody that used to work for him that is disgruntled enemies and liars maybe past lovers they're all gonna feel a certain kind of way because of the way he spoke it wasn't even 48 hours manassas jordan took to his ig is an and NCAA began to talk about jakes without using his name so when I saw that, now mind you, I'd already knew about it. I'd already been over there to the place, look at the computer, still in screenshots. <laughs> and that was probably over a year ago. This and is an NC Beat exclusive. When he done what he done, I said, now Manasseh, I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. I guess I was asking and also letting him know. I'm going to put this up and I'm going to put Jake's name on this. When I do this, this is going to breathe fire back into this conversation about Jinx that he's trying to disappear, but it will also create a conversation around predatory grooming that needs this to be had. Manassas a prophet. Now just listen to this fool. Beat he works with people, prophesies to people and works in the kingdom, the body of Christ, the church, religious sector and he said okay that conversation is more important than protecting anyone so i put his name on it and i began to do a few lives later on manasseh named him by saying td then later on all of these other people began to come to me one of these this people, his story is so exclusive, heart wrenching that I know if those details come out here on this internet, just his story, this is going to be it's going to be horrible. So I sent his name to the Jenks camp and said, "Y'all need to get in contact with him." Okay, so another victim of jakes came out and told you some horrible things about jakes
And if they come out, it's going to be whatever, whatever, whatever. So I sent his name. Do y'all hear this fool? Do y'all hear this fool on this damn internet connecting victims of people that are predators are being accused of being a predator? You know what? And this sometimes when that happens, people get clear, exclusive. even if the person actually really harm them and it's not just a baseless accusation i was hoping that just get worked out because i didn't want to see it out here although this is my job doing this type work having these conversations it's not my my main job so i cannot do this anymore so if but this is but 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 stuff like that is your job so what is the end goal, Larry? What are you what are you getting out of this? What are you getting out of connecting the victim who come to you and told you what Jace is allegedly done to him? Or but it's your although although it's your job to cover this stuff and to talk about it, but what is the end goal? Like what do you get out of it? If your job is to cover it, then why won't you just cover it? Why won't you let them do what they're going to do and you not have no hand in it? I mean, the, the, is the is the Jake's family paying you to get victims or to find victims or to come out here and put on a show like you a caring vlogger and like you have all of these connections and these people really don't you really like you all right so you guys just heard all of that so let me start off by talking about the diddy situation and i'm going to keep it short simple and sweet it's no surprise here that he may have stole that man's material diddy has been stealing from his artists for years and when you look at things in its totality diddy stole sting song every breath you take you know when biggie died him and faith collaborated and did the song in honor of biggie and now he has to pay sting i believe like twenty five hundred dollars for the rest of his life every day every day he has to pay that man twenty five hundred dollars all because diddy thought that he was going to slide through the cracks and not have to pay this man but he didn't get the song cleared through sting so sting stood on business and came back and said no nah, man you got to pay me now as far as the information about pastor henderson i haven't seen the video of this woman claiming that she didn't know where she was i looked on tiktok and abroad and i could not find that video nowhere so obviously somebody pulled it down or it's hidden i have no idea but there's not enough information to you know confirm anything here but at the end of the day if you guys have heard about this information drop down and let me know has she been found i couldn't find any information stating that she has been found and if she hasn't been found we need to look into that this is a very serious matter now as far as the larry reed situation goes listen he probably has the same information that i do i told you guys that i had some really crazy information about td jakes that i wouldn't put out here and i get that in its totality but at the same time, I don't understand how you're going to try to connect the victim to the potential essayer, right? To the alleged essayer. Where's the integrity in that? I have to ask because there's no amount of money that TD Jakes could pay me for me to connect an alleged victim to him. You know, that's dirty money to me. That's filthy money because at the end of the day, this man over here is saying that you did this this is a case this is a criminal case so why would i do that so you can settle behind the scenes nah don't play with me like that i'm a man that stands on principle and i told you guys in previous videos that it was conveyed to me that td jakes is a very dangerous man and he can have you knocked off allegedly so why would you pass on personal information from an alleged victim to a potential pred it just doesn't make sense now let me reiterate we don't know if larry reed is getting paid for this but let's just say he is getting paid and td jakes is settling behind the scenes look you can't look at this thing like i'm helping the victims out and i'm helping td jakes out too because once those victims get paid their life could still be in danger but anyway y'all let's go ahead and get into this message that was sent to me from my plug now before i convey this information i do want to say that this information is all alleged all right so it says here what's up my guy i wanted to let you know about some info that was passed my way about td and diddy 
I have been told that Diddy was advised not to come out and defend TD because there is a video that was obtained by someone who attended the party that shows that the bishop just wasn't there to lay hands on people. Also, I want to be clear when I say this, it's not only about the bishop, there are men who claim they're about that gangster life that literally were recorded participating in male on male action. There's even a weird rumor that's going around that Diddy's mom likes to watch and she goes from room to room as if she's checking on everybody to make sure they're comfy. That's the word that an individual that attended the party said she used. The lawyer that spoke to me on this is adamant that both Diddy and Jakes are working behind closed doors to pay off victims and they're trying to seize a video that is out there that disclosed private moments that were captured at his birthday party. I'm told that rappers, entertainers, and mostly everyone that attended this party is in the process of being questioned legally about if they potentially recorded the birthday bash without permission. It's been expressed to me that it's all about getting this video off the streets and most importantly keeping it from hitting the internet. I will say the lawyer that I talked to stood on business and didn't go into further details no matter how much I tried to get them to budge it just wasn't happening all they said was that it's pretty bad all right so you guys just heard that information and again like I said it's all alleged I do trust my plug I don't think that they will steer me in the wrong direction all right but anyway, I'm going to let this go right here. I want you guys to feel free to drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel about everything that was discussed within this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.